hello friends in this video let's talk about how to load excel file data into postgres database by using ssis in the previous videos we talked about how to do the data migrations between sql server to postgres sql server or postgres to sql server so we tried both one way and the other way even i i explained in a two different approaches in a easiest manner here we will talk about excel file load so what are all the prerequisites <coughs> to work with this so if you are watching only this video apart from other videos the prerequisites are excel file you need to keep the file ready second thing is postgres SQL Server should be ready. Third one is SSIS should be ready. Fourth one is ODBC drivers for Postgres. <coughs> By default, you don't get ODBC drivers of Postgres SQL Server when you do a Postgres SQL Server installation. So you need to do a separate installation for ODBC of Postgres. So I did that and I explained in the previous videos in the migration videos almost. <coughs> Now let's not go into that uh, ODBC drivers uh, too much here. Now let's go for the Excel file and see what is the data and see what is the target table in Postgres and then go to the SSIS quickly. So let's quickly go here. If you open this. <coughs> now, yeah, this is a, a Excel file. So which of having uh, like um, uh, four columns, EMP ID, EMP name, uh, department name and salary okay so these are the uh, four columns with two records <coughs> so the process is same even you have thousand uh, rows or like a ten columns or irrespective of that okay so let's uh, close this and if you remember the column names EMP ID <coughs> EMP name department name salary okay so that's all about it. Now let's come here, uh, PostgreSQL server. So this is my target table. This table already has around nine records. <coughs> Sorry, nine records. So with of ID employee, employee name, uh, department name and salary. If you see the column differences, Excel file contains EMP ID, but my Postgres contains ID EMP. So I intentionally kept difference in the names. I want to show you the manual mapping. Okay, so remaining names are common even okay so now let's uh, now source and target is ready i need to go for the development okay so let's quickly open a sql server uh, data tools uh, this is an empty project let's add a new package okay let's add a new package so in this package let's take a data flow task so why to take a data flow task we already talked about it you just drag and drop okay mm, now so let's double click on a data flow task here so once you double click on data flow task, so you will get a couple of options here. As I mentioned, my source is Excel file. Here, if you uh, scroll little down, you see here Excel source. So let's drag and drop the Excel source here. So now you need to link this Excel source uh, control to the file. So it's a very straightforward and it's a user friendly or developer friendly SSIS only. So let's double click on it. So here it will ask you, oh, where is your file? so i need to click on again new here so once i click on new here it will ask where is the file path let's browse it here so the file is in desktop let's select this click on open and click on open and uh, you need to select because since you know that excel uh, workbook contains multiple sheets you need to select what sheet you want to transfer okay let's take this sheet one by default okay now let's go to the click on preview so you can see the first 200 records of uh, excel but since I have only two records in the Excel, I, I could see both here. Okay, let's click on close and come to the columns here. You can see the column names also here. Okay, so you can see the column names and you here you can change. I can change now. So if you remember it, this is here I am sending EMP ID, but here I have ID EMP. So I don't want to change even now here. I have an option in the later stage. If I want, I can do here also, but still. Okay, now once this is ready, okay, let me see, this is, okay, it's, it's not selected, is it? Okay, yeah, 
sheet one selected and this is ready source is ready now i need to go for destination so my destination is postgresql okay let's quickly come here so <clears throat> as i mentioned i need to take odbc because the odbc destinations or odbc sources are free are readily available in postgresql website to download and to install okay so let's link this uh, source and destination and then go for the odbc destination configuration in the same way i need to do it how i did the configuration for source in the similar way i need to let's double click on it so once you double click on it so you you won't be having any connections here because it's a new package altogether let's click on new so once you click on new i already have some existing connection that's not, not talk about that let's click on new again here so here so it, by default once you install odbc on your machine by default it will show you the list of odbc drivers which are available for us so since i did the installation and configuration for postgresql odbc driver i can see here okay let's select any of it okay now here you need to provide username and password okay so username is uh, probably you might be knowing with in your server so same way i'm give, i'll be giving here a password you can click on test connection yeah so if there is anything wrong here either password is wrong username is wrong or this configuration is wrong you you will get error message saying that something is wrong but here it is all everything is correct so it is all good now let's click on okay click on okay click on okay and here you need to select the table name <clears throat> so here as i mentioned my table name is emps okay so let's select the emps and come to the mappings here now this is a place where i want to show you the uh, mapping so here these two columns are names are same even in the excel file as well as my postgres both are same that is the reason why it is directly mapped this also this this also same but employee id employee and here it is emp id since there is a change in the name of the columns by default you won't get a mapping so but yes you can do the manual mapping like this since the data type of both the columns are same it automatically works irrespective of the column names now mapping is done click on okay now the development is done so you might see a warning here so why because since you are da uh, loading data from excel uh, to uh, 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 postgres you might see because for excel you, you do not have any uh, defined uh, length here as of now that is the reason why if you try to send more length department name or more length employee name it f it may fail while inserting because so i i specified the sizes of like let us see if you see the emps sizes you can see around 20 size uh, i can see you can see here 20 i specified 20 here and 20 here if you try to push more than 20 characters it might fail that is the reason why it is showing some warning for us nothing to worry that's all okay now so let's uh, run this okay so you can run simply by clicking on this uh, start button or you can right click uh, on a uh, execute task either is fine let me click on execute task so here uh, th the beauty of exercise here is you can see how many rows are transferred from source to target in uh, in a window itself you can see it here okay so uh, now you might get a question once i deploy this package how do i see that that is a different uh, strategy and different mechanism we'll talk about that i already talked about okay and uh, you can see now two rows are transferred from excel to uh, odbc destination postgres now so can i go to the postgres database earlier it is nine records are there now if i run this i should be having 11 records of course yes i got 11 records do you see this these 11 records we have two records are newly inserted so if i keep on running it keep on inserting it because it's i, I kept as a blind insert now so can i do the manipulations of course you can do it you can do the manipulations or you can apply some filters you can apply whatever you want so sss have that much of comfort to do the validations to do the um, limitations and all limit the data something like that when i say so that's all about it so this is about loading excel data into postgres using ssis okay i'll i'll, I'll show you a different way again uh, in other video on how to load excel data to postgres uh, using a different uh, technology or different tool okay so not only this if you have any questions on migrations please do let me know on the comment box i'll try to help you as soon as possible also follow me on facebook for more technical updates that's all thank you for watching